Okay, here's Mad Max again. Several people asked me how to do the thermal configuration for the FW3A. Um, you should have the uh, Endurial cheat sheet and here's what we do. We want to do the thermal config. We, if you print it out in color, it will be much better. Uh, with a triple click, we go into the blinkies. We start in the battery check, then double click to sunset, double click to beacon, double click to temp check. Then we have time to read what the flashlight is actually reading. If that's, if that's not correct, we can quad click to the thermal configuration. Then there the quad click, there is a blink and then it flickers. The flickering is the time where you can enter your values. And after that, it gives two blinks and waits again for some clicks, which is the first blink and then the flickering is the current temperature. So you tell the flashlight what its temperature is. So the best way is let it sit for half an hour in the room, know your room temperature, plus minus a few degrees, that's not that bad. And then you can tell it now you have this temperature where we start on. And then you can set the temperature limit well, the limit uh, gives you 30 degrees and an offset, and then you give what you want for the limit. So pointing for 65 degrees, you have 35 clicks above the 30 degrees, which are already stored. I hope that's clear somehow. And if you just take it slow, don't, you cannot break something. Not really, I think. So I recommend what you should do is do that from off through the triple click. So now it blinks something that, which is the battery voltage, 3.9 or something on my cell. That's okay. It's good to know we are in battery check. Double click. There is a flicker. Then this is the sunset mode. Double click. We are in beacon, which is also good to know. Double click. This is the temperature check. Two, one, two, two and two, so 22 degrees is what my flashlight is set to, which is quite okay. But uh, let's set it to 21, which uh, needs to four clicks to thermal configuration. And if you are unsure, do it that way. But do not enter, just look how it works. One, two, three, four. So that's one click, one blink, flickering for waiting for input. That's the first one, two clicks. Two blinks and then it's flickering again. And <laughs> we didn't click or didn't enter anything, so it's just back to temp check. So we want to enter now the actual temperature. One, two, three, four. Blink, waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty-one. And now it sees oh no, no more clicks. Two blinks, you want to set the limit? No, I do not want now. So do you have to click, switch it off to store the value. Then one, two, three for the blinky thingy, one, two for the sunset, one, two for the beacon, one, two for temp check, one, two, and one. So we have set it's 21 degrees and the flashlight believes that. Now we want to set the temperature limit as hot as we we allow it to go. So I want 65 degrees. The first 30 clicks are for free and then we have to do 35 clicks on top. So go into thermal configuration. One, two, three, four. Blink. Flickering. We do not want to set the actual temperature. Blink, blink. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35 clicks above the 30 which are stored. So then we switch it off again. Now we have set 65 degrees as a temperature limit. So the flashlight uh, should work fine and I think up to its really good high power. The problem is if the actual temperature mine was 35 from uh, the factory, so it will uh, have 15 degrees less for heating up. 
So as you have seen in my first video, there is less time, less turbo, uh, less time on turbo. Uh, it does not get as hot as it could be because it limits itself. So try that. Look what your actual reading is. Do the temp check. And if that is off, do the thermal configuration. Take your time, go through the modes two or three times, try to get the timing, what happens when, and then enter your clicks. So if anything was not clear, um, let me know. I try to explain again, or another one can do it better like me. Uh, so have a nice day. Bye bye.